few minutes, bear with us for a few minutes. Yes, yes brother. My name is uh, Sunny Matthew. I am a manpower consultant. Name of my company is Sigma Manpower and Marketing Private Limited. Well, well uh, the question uh, to Dr. Sagir Nayib is, or the debate subject why we have today is, was Christ really crucified? Asking a counter question is not the answer for the question. It's a simple logical theory. The subject of today is not whether Jesus has uh, resurrected or not. That subject when you are dealing it on the problem, the evidence for uh, resurrection which we can find out only from the Bible. And it is a belief of the Christians. And as you mentioned, you are not believing in Christ, uh, you are not believing uh, Bible is a word of God and then you are taking the quotation from Bible and proving that and proving that resurrection is not taking place and then saying that is why the crucifixion is not taking place is a good logic but when you are approaching the subject I personally believe it is not right. One another point. Uh, yeah. yeah, the same, same question is a continuation, but one more point on that. Uh, now, it is a historical fact. The crucifixion or death of Christ is a historical fact where the historians have written it on that. A Jewish historian called Josephus has written about, uh, a, about the uh, about the crucifixion of Christ. And it was not a secret. In a rally, uh, people have been tortured him and crucified him on that. Then what happened to Christ if Christ has not died? Whether he has hidden somewhere else, it has, his body has taken down from the cross and it has been laying down. There were people witnessing it on that. But how can you deny it? On this and, and the last continuation because I'm the last so person to question it. Yeah, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry
It was only made to appear so. Next was Surah Nisa chapter 4 and 150 it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him up alive. I've said that. That he was raised up alive unto himself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised Jesus Christ peace be upon him unto himself. It didn't even mention Surah Imran chapter number 3 verse number 55 that he was raised up alive. And, and you be coming again in the second coming. So all, so all your questions, questions have been answered. answered. And the pastor said, what I have got from his answer which he gave earlier. Every time I meet a Christian, I give a new answer. He said that certain damages cannot be repaired. He said that. It's there on video. That means, for certain sins, Jesus Christ cannot be. What I get to understand, what I get to understand, every time I meet a new Christian, I get a new ideology of Christianity. That for small sins, Christ has paid. He will be upon it. For big sins, he has not paid. That's what I understand. That's what I understand. Yes, you have some comment. Brother, just, you can just ask your question instead of a comment, because one, in his five minutes, there are yet two, three minutes left. I will allow him to answer only in the three minutes, not the five minutes. Yes, brother. Quickly your question, quickly the answer, within three minutes. Okay. Uh, now the entire argument which you have given based on the biblical quotings, and when actually the subject, was the Christ has really crucified, what you have there to talk from the Quran. Quran when you are saying, if you are saying a statement and if you are repeating a statement, that's not an argument. I say there is a God and I say 20 times there is a God, that's not an argument. Argument requires subsequent support. So what support you can give from Quran for Christ has not crucified other than that of the statement. I expect a reply not to get the clap from the audience, but for a non-Muslim can understand and get Getting of a clap is simple, but making others understanding is difficult. So not to get a clap, but to me, to me understand on that. I will ask a very good question, that if you make a statement, it doesn't become a fact. It should be from authentic source. And I do agree. If I quote from the Quran, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified, you did not agree. Why? Because according to you, the Quran is not authentic. I have got no problem. But for the Muslims, if it's authentic, they said the word of God, for, for them it is sufficient proof. If, if I say anything from the Bible, what, what happened to Christ? It, it may not be proof for the Muslims, but for, for the Christians it will be. Do you agree the Bible to be the word of God or not? You agree? You agree? Good. Good. He agreed. So, so proof from, from the Bible, Jesus Christ was not crucified, so why do you require historical proof? Do you think historical proof is superior to God's word? Don't clap, don't clap, he doesn't want you to clap. He wants to understand. The, the proof should be, I mean, it's a matter of faith. That's, that's why it was so good. good. That's, that's right. I'm saying, as long as you are convinced, I'm not here to convince the non Christian. To convince the non Christian, I can give historical proof, we can have a new debate. If a non Christian comes and tells me, that he. Who quoted? I mean, the quotation which you have quoted is right, but it has picked up from a wrong place which has mentioned on a wrong incident. Brother has an allegation, I have quoted rightly, but out of context. You, you give the context. No, no problem. It's, it's a friendly discussion for understanding. Come to IRS. You, you give the context and we'll discuss it. The most welcome. come. I'll, I'll come and meet you then. Interesting video. To For someone to understand you, you have to speak the same language as them. So, depending on your audience, you have to adjust. Depending on what country you travel to, you have to adjust to the way they do things there. And it's only fair that, and very understandable that Dr. Zaki Naik, because it's a Christian that's asking him the question he's quoting from the Bible. Also, um, I always say the people asking the questions always come with the best questions, but then don't want the speaker to speak. You want to ask your question for 10 minutes straight when do you think you're going to get your answer you know you have to wait for someone to respond to what you're saying question by question so that we the people that are watching as well get knowledge from this interaction taking place otherwise um i hope you got the answers that he was looking for and i think people are patient enough because people are waiting in line behind him and he was taking his time asking all those questions let me know what you guys actually 
think about this what do you believe in another thing is my issue is why is it that many christians are believing jesus died on one side and others are saying he didn't on the other side but on the third day of course he did come out from wherever he was taken that's one thing i would love to understand so let me know what you think Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.